Hello, my name is Morten Knudsen. I'm from Denmark. I'm a Microsoft MVP and I have some really cool stuff that I want to show you uh, about Azure Resource Graph, which I'm a really big fan of. If you don't know Azure Resource Graph, you're not alone because I know a lot of people out there uh, do not know about this great feature. It's actually a free feature inside Azure. And um, what it does, it is an index of the uh, state uh, of a property. And uh, it can be, for example, a, a list of all the IP addresses that are used on all the machines or give me a list of all the management groups in my environment or give me a list of all the subscriptions in my environment. It can also be used to so give me a list of all the uh, VMs that are in a stop state uh, right now. So it will allow you to, in a very fast way, to quickly uh, search uh, your entire infrastructure, entire tenant, um, and give you back the results um, very fast. Of course, it honors the security uh, that you have been delegated. So you're not seeing anything that you're not allowed to but it's a, a very cool index and I use it very much in my automation. Well, what I've done is that I've built a PowerShell module, which includes uh, hundreds of predefined queries, which uh, I have found and people have contributed to me uh, on the, uh, from the internet or from the community. And I hope that you will also do the same in case that you have any favorite queries that you find are really cool and you think that other people from the community can benefit from it. So you can upload it from the GitHub site or you can send me an email with the query and I'll include it. And once you uh, do that uh, and the, uh, the module uh, checks for any available new versions, it will automatically update uh, and uh, download uh, the newest version, which includes your uh, query inside the module. So that is done uh, by automatically. So let's start with the demo. After you have installed the module, uh, you can run uh, a number of queries. And uh, I will, in this demo, uh, demonstrate some of the queries that you can use. I will add the link to the GitHub site uh, where you can find more information at the end of this video. So I'm not going to go through the actual installation of the module. Uh, that is pretty straightforward. Um, you can also see all the queries uh, by running the standard uh, get help uh, commands. If you run the, the first query here uh, in the demo, and I'll provide the demo script for you on the GitHub site as well, so you can actually run the same queries that I'm running here. So I start up and uh, by adding a command which will automatically install and auto 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 update um, and clean up any old versions that are out there. And in case there are any new versions, it will automatically install it. So this is beneficial in case you wanna put it into your automation so that you're always running the latest version. So if I was going to start, a, I was going to run the command with the show query only, uh, where I want to see what queries are available. Uh, let's say that I'm a, a new person uh, to Azure Resource Graph, I want to run this query. Uh, so if I start it up, you can actually see here that it will uh, come up with a list of the included predefined queries that are in the module at, in this current version. And as you can see here, it includes the query name, the uh, query description, the category of uh, the uh, query, and who has contributed uh, to uh, with this query. Uh, and a big thank you uh, to the ones that are in the uh, in the module already. You can also uh, send me your cool queries or you can upload it uh, on the GitHub site and get your name in the product as well. So my goal is to provide a platform where everyone from the community can you know, provide queries that they are a fan of 
and uh, give it out to the community. So by the community, for the community. So let's say that I want to uh, find something about IP and I can do a, a quick search here and it will automatically uh, show the list of the queries that are related to, uh, to IP or, 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 or what that uh, word uh, includes. So let's say I wanna run a list of the IP addresses that are in uh, my VM. So here you can see on the left side, it did not actually run anything. It just showed me the query that it was about to run because I'm in show query only mode. In the beginning here, you can also see the name of the query that I chose and what is the uh, uh, command if I want to automate this. Uh, and I'll come back to that in a, in a few seconds. So let's say that I want to actually run it. I, I'll start uh, again without the show query only. And I'll select the query that I just had before and, uh, and then actually run it. And now you can see that it did run the query against my platform. Again, the query name, the, uh, the scope, which was against the tenant. You can see here that it's running under an Azure app context uh, um, here. And lastly, the query, the number of records it retrieves, the time it took to get the records and the records itself. As I mentioned, you can also go up and run the same query, but instead of running in interactive mode, you can actually run it in an automatic mode. So I'll just go up here and copy the uh, what is provided, run it, and now it will show the result without uh, me having to select it. Of course, you can also get the result out in a, a variable and uh, put it in, in like a result. And now I can see the data that I uh, that is in the result uh, variable right here. So it's very easy to, to use it in an automatic way. Of course, you can also uh, run it against a management group or a subscription. So this is an example of me getting the uh, number of uh, resource groups uh, in the management group called to link IT. So instead of having the tenant, I would just add in the uh, name of uh, the uh, query scope. And uh, let's just do like this. And you can see I have the option of choosing management group, subscription, or tenant. So all three uh, possibilities. I can also do some filtering. Let's say that I want to just get back the uh, first three resource groups in my tenant. I can use the first parameter and it will just get back uh, the result of the first three uh, records uh, it finds. Uh, I can also do a skip uh, command where I'm getting the list back uh, where it is um, you can see here there is a scoping uh, involved and it's skipping the first five records and it is retrieving uh, 71 uh, records. Uh, if I run it uh, without the uh, skip command, uh, let's do that, you can see that it's uh, returning 76 records. So it was skipping the first five records in the first query. Uh, instead of using predefined queries, I'm also providing capability of you to run a custom query. So in case that you want to uh, use a, a predefined query as your kind of baseline and modify it to your uh, requirements, you can also add in the query here as show and run it and it will also work. Um, against the Azure Resource Graph. You can also log in, as I said, with, an, uh, with um, an Azure app. So let's say that I want to just disconnect the sessions that I have made, and I want to uh, log in 
uh, I can actually log in with a parameter called AC app ID, the secret, the tenant ID, and it will automatically connect me uh, through uh, this. So if I don't want to uh, use an app, I can also disconnect here. And uh, then, for example, let's say I want to run this query here, but now I don't have any connectivity, so it will automatically prompt me uh, to log in, and uh, I will do the login, and then when it has completed the login process, it will run the query for me. So, one of the cool new things that was made uh, recently uh, is the ability to extract uh, role assignments inside Azure. If you ever try to do that uh, in an automatic way, it takes forever uh, because it has to traverse all the objects uh, and resources inside uh, Azure. So that is now part of the Azure resource graph. So here's uh, the script where I'm running uh, and extracting all the role assignments in my entire tenant. And you can see here I have 577 uh, role assignments. And if you look through the list here, you can see that I'm getting the, the principal ID and the principal type. Um, and here I can see that it, it is a service principal and it could be a group or it could be a user. But I'm really interested in getting the, uh, the display name of this uh, principal ID. So here you can see that I provided you with uh, the ability to uh, look up the um, resources inside your Azure uh, AD or Entry uh, ID, and it will uh, enrich the data and uh, add uh, the display name to the array. So now I'm connecting, getting the metadata about my uh, objects uh, from um, my environment, and now it's enriching all the RBAC uh, role assignments with the display name. And you can see now it includes the role assignment principal display name in the list. And if I want to see it uh, here, you can also see that it includes now the name of the principal, uh, which is behind this principal ID. So to wrap it all together, here's an example of the commands, which will extract the uh, role assignments, uh, connect uh, via Microsoft Graph, and get all the users, uh, service principles, the groups, uh, info, and then create a new array of data. And uh, then I have the uh, data which can be used, for example, for alerting, for reporting, for my compliance uh, uh, overview. And it is very, very fast. As you can see here, it took two seconds to extract more than a thousand records about the role assignment for my complete uh, tenant, where the first demo was just for a specific management group. And it is uh, building the list for me. And you can see here now it has the uh, display name. And uh, in here, I have the role name, the type, and, and the scope, and, and so on. So that completes my demo. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please go and uh, download the module AC Resource Graph PS. It's on PowerShell Gallery. And I'll provide you the GitHub uh, link so that you can read uh, in the documentation in more details um, and uh, please give me some feedback if you have any.